Welcome to Clinician's Notebook by Doc Athena. This is a ContraVet's Technical Diary to anyone for free. Today, we are going to discuss case number 003, Entropion in dogs. What is Entropion? Now let's proceed to case presentation. Entropion is the abnormal inversion of lead margin that may involve both eyelids and the canthi caused by several factors, including anatomical or congenital, cicatrical or spastic abnormalities. Entropion is an eye problem which involves the abnormal inversion of the lead margins. And according to studies, there are certain breeds that are predisposed to this condition, such as Sharpe, Chow Chow, St. Bernard, English Bulldog, and Rottweiler. This is according to Gross in 1999. Entropion could also be classified based on the degree of faulting according to states. If the eyelid margin is tilted at about 45 degrees, that is classified as mild. If it is at 90 degrees, that is moderate. And if it is at 180 degrees, that is severe. For diagnosis, Proper evaluation of the eyelid anatomy and function is very important prior to undertaking any blepharoplastic procedure. Initial examination of the patient without touching should be conducted first, that is to prevent palpebral distortion. During diagnosis, the application of a local anesthetic is usually recommended, that is to remove the spastic portion of the entropion and for proper assessment for surgical correction. For history, you should know the desired anatomic standard for a certain breed. For clinical signs, there is an obvious inversion of the eyelid. According to Alfre, certain diagnostic procedures or tests could also help, such as menace and pupillary light reflex, ophthalmoscopy, skirmer test, fluorescein test, bacterial, fungal, or any other cytological examinations, testing of the nasolacrimal patency and ultrasonography. Once these tests are conducted, the veterinarian could then list the differential diagnosis for the eye problem. And this could include teratoconjunctivitis, tumor, trichiasis, dystrichiasis, or ectopic cilia. For treatment, the time of diagnosis and treatment is very important. That is to prevent any irreversible changes that might happen along the way. However, definitive surgical correction of entropion is best at six months of age or older. In cases of spastic entropion, the spasms could be stopped by early and frequent corneal lubrication. For very young puppies, this could be temporarily treated using a temporary lead averting sutures or lead closures. For surgical correction, there are two different types. One is for large and giant breeds and the other is for breeds with droopy ears. For large and giant breeds, this usually involves correction of the lateral cantus. For droopy ear dogs, retidectomy is usually performed, which involves resection of a large skin fold. However, non-easy entropion usually requires combination of these two techniques to obtain a good result. Now let's proceed to our clinical presentation. For abstract, a two-year-old female chow chow was presented to the hospital on December 10, 2010 for eye checkup. The dog had entropion on both eyes with increased bilateral secretion of mucoputulent ocular discharge. Moreover, neovascularization on both eyes were observed, signifying recurrent keratitis. The animal had normal appetite, urination, and defecation. Laboratory test results included leukopenia, lymphopenia, and increased level of creatinine kinase. The patient underwent correction of entropion using modified hot Celsius technique and Y2V plasty as a treatment of choice and given with tramadol and amoxicillin. That's all, folks.
notebooks for our clinical discussion from Clinician's Notebook by Doc Athena. I hope to see you again in our next lecture. For those who have not subscribed yet in our YouTube channel, please do so. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Or if you want a private conversation, you can send us a message to Doc Athena Facebook page. Please keep safe everyone. God bless us all. Bye!